What's up, Jake and Ike? This is Big J coming at you from Power of YouTube. And today is the Hunger Games Mocking Jay Part 1 movie review. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, spoilers, as you know, as always, as movie reviews are. But if you're into spoilers, hey, stay tuned. Okay, so my initial. My initial review is kind of biased because I also read the books too. So, as a reviewer, you, 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 you follow the book. And to me, Monkey J Part 1 kind of got a little away from the book at, at, at some points. And then at, at certain other points, it was like dead on. Um, for example, um, at one part of the movie, there was a, a, a scene where I believe I, I'm hard, horrible at pronouncing names, but Effie, yeah, Effie, um, Katniss's uh, hair and makeup, you know, part of her team. They only show Effie, but the whole team was there, and you know when you know, God rest his soul, Philip Seymour Hoffman, you know, come in to to talk to Effie, you know get his name uh, in the movie sorry about that but in the movie uh, she's fine not a scratch on her but in the book her whole team was like tortured and beat up cut up and just chained they, they got chained on their leg and and in the movie that was wasn't the case I mean the reason why they were tortured and everything was because they wanted to know what they knew because they were from the capital. They lived in the capital, and I just thought, as you know, as a fan of the book series, I I didn't like that because it wasn't true to to the book. So, but then there was a part, you know, um, when Katniss goes to um, district district eight and goes to visit the hospital. You know, when you're reading the book, you don't have visuals to go on. You just go on what you, your imagination as you read the book, and everything about District Eight and how it looked and everything went just straight from my. It, it felt like it just was straight from my imagination. So on that, I you know I thought it was great the way the way she shot her arrow and knocked down knocked down the uh, the copter that came down to to bomb the hospital. You know everything about that that part that scene was just amazing to me it looked exactly like I, how I pictured it in my mind um, now as far like the acting it, it was top notch um, you know again Philip Seymour Hoffman uh, one of my favorite actors um, every time he came on the screen to me it was like oh you know like I'll never get to see him in another movie you know because you know, circumstances, you know, involving his death and everything, you know, God rest his soul. Um, Liam Neeson did a, did a phenomenal job. J-Law, of course, you know, she, she did her thing. Just everybody felt, uh, you know, it felt real. It felt like they embraced the characters. Uh, Donald Sutherland, there could be no other person in my mind to play President Snow. He, uh, in the books, when I read the books, you know, he's a he's a smart, evil, conniving, manipulative, just FOB, and he was awesome. Couldn't ask for a better actor to do that. Uh, just, I love him, but then, you know, the character, I, you know, I hate him, so it's like a mixed emotions there. Um, the... It was just a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, movie for me. I, me personally, I enjoyed this movie. Um, now, as far as like the graphics and the and the CGI and everything, it was great. Um, it's not like one of those movies that uh, that you could tell, oh, that's fake. This, you know, one another, everything's fake and everything. No, the explosions look real. The flying the flying machines in that movie look 
just totally real, like they like they pulled it out of Area 51 somewhere or something, you know. It it was just great. The visually, it was it was awesome. Um, the music helped build suspense, and, or or whatever it was intended for. Like every scene, the 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 music fit what was going on. Um, there was one part uh, it's kind of embarrassing to admit. Well, they were in District 12, and you know, with the film crew and everything, and they're at the at the the river stream, and she starts to, uh, Katniss everything starts singing the Hanging Tree, and when I read that that the song in the book, I got goosebumps. Because for some reason I'm the type of person I hear good music or or poems that have meaning behind them. I just it affects me. And so when she started singing the hanging tree, I started crying. I mean it was beautiful and with the mocking jays backing her up, going with her. I mean it was just powerful moment for me. And you know, and everybody's just silent and just staring at her. It was it was powerful. So overall. I give this movie two big thumbs up. It was great. I enjoyed it, and I can't wait for part two. With that being said, um, follow follow me on well, not follow me on Twitter because I don't have a Twitter yet, but um, that's coming soon. Uh, more videos headed your way. Uh, I'm that type of guy. I don't plan. Um, if I get a feeling, I'm a, I'm gonna bring it to you, uh, video wise. Uh, I'm on Facebook. Everything, all my information is going to be down below, you guys. So stick with me, uh, Jack and Knights, because the best is yet to come. Alright, so take care and peace.